What is a revenue model? It's the way a company extracts value from the consumption of a product or service. It's how the business generates money. And there are six ways to do that. But not all ways are created equal. And if you're in the crypto space, you should know something. The prevailing revenue model in crypto also happens to be the number one revenue model on earth for creating value. I want to quickly run through these six revenue models and show why crypto companies are naturally positioned for the best and most valuable revenue model there is. So number six at the bottom of the revenue model stack is tipping and donations. You can't create a lot of value with this one. Nothing guaranteed. It's too difficult to forecast it. You're essentially a panhandler. Number five is sponsorship revenue. Hmm. Nothing much good here either. You got long sales cycle times. It's generally not repeatable. You're basically one step above a charity case. The fourth is the granddaddy of internet company revenue models. I'm talking about advertising. I really hate the advertising revenue model, by the way. There are just too many reasons to list them all here, but I'll give you my top worst things about the advertising revenue model. First, you aren't offering a differentiated product. I mean, there are literally millions of places that advertisers can advertise. And their two favorite places are Google and Facebook, who capture the bulk of North American digital ad dollars. The other bad thing about the advertising revenue model is that it has this weird property where you're charging one group, the company's paying you to advertise on your platform, when an entirely different group is actually using or consuming your product. So who is your real customer? The companies paying you or the people using your platform? Now I consider my customers to be the ones who are actually paying me. So you see the problem this creates? Like who are content sites customers? Well, if you define customers as the one paying you, then their customers are the advertisers. But the people consuming the content on the site also think of themselves as customers non-paying customers, but still, they think of themselves as customers. So you see the tension this creates. It's why so many content sites feel justified in selling user data. These three revenue models I've just mentioned, for the reasons I've mentioned, don't generally create a lot of value. So now let's move into the top three revenue models. And these three have something in common that makes them quite attractive and that is a direct relationship with the customer. So the third best revenue model is retail and e-commerce, something everyone's familiar with. You've got that alignment between the customer and a revenue generation event. The second best revenue model is subscription. This is like the e-commerce revenue model with a twist, and that twist is predictability from customer contracts, which reduces customer churn. Now, when you combine predictable revenue and low customer churn, you get a very attractive valuation. And of course, in the last 15 years, this has become the popular revenue model for software companies. And finally, the best revenue model on earth, transaction-based revenue, the gold standard. Google, payment companies like PayPal, these are transaction-based revenue models. And transaction-based revenue models are highly valued because they have two appealing properties. They scale in line with usage on demand, and they are often perceived as more attractive to customers because customers like the pay-as-you-go model. One of the reasons I love the blockchain space is that it fits so well with the most valuable revenue model. A blockchain is designed for transactional-based revenues. And this is why when blockchain businesses finally find their successful niches, they will be valued at very high revenue multiples. If you like what you heard today, please hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.